Hey, Keith here, Mark's behind the camera, and today we're gonna to be working on a bug. That's right, a genuine bug. Um, the reason we're doing this is I wanna teach a little bit about symmetry in drawing, okay? Um, the other part of this is uh, getting our shapes right uh, by using guidelines. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, can we see our bug? You can see the bug. Um, now I know you're drawing base while looking at a finished version. Yes. Do we have a drawing guideline for this as well, we, like some of our stuff? We do have a drawing guideline for this one. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, I left the guideline at home. So uh, it'll be similar, uh, but it might not be exactly the same. But if you follow the guideline, you shouldn't have any trouble, okay? Or follow the video. Your choice. Or follow the video. Um, but you can get the guideline at rkmcguire.com. Link will be in the description. Or if you just go to the website and click the material tab, you will see a guides and sketches page full of not only this bug, but other drawings that Keith has done follow alongs for. Uh, so enjoy. All right, so just to get started, one of the things I forgot to bring is a ruler. Um, I just want to do one okay, main... What ruler do you want? Oh, uh, and, and anything with a straight edge would be great. Thank you. This is great. So, basically, what I'm starting out with is a center line. This is so important uh, working with uh, symmetrical objects or symmetrical um, creatures were symmetrical two arms two legs each on <laughs> different sides of the body um, but what we're going to start out with is the the back shell whatever or the back what is it the thorax yeah 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 that's what it is um, so I'm going to just draw a box I'm not going to sit there and try to get that shape exactly right. What we want, though, is a box that is same distance from one side to the other, okay? That's about right. Okay. So, I'm going to try to get our proportions right. So we're going to start with the box. And I believe this little character has... Kind of a half oval or a half circle for the middle part of his body. Oh, that's the thorax. That's the abdomen. All right, very good. And then we come up a little bit. We're going to throw a little triangle in there. And then a tube. And this is kind of going to get you, get you set up. All right, I'm going to make this. I knew it was a setup. You can't uh, yeah. trick me. As you can see, I'm going to make this oval a little bit wider. There we go. All right, so I'm going to make that a little bit taller, too. Okay, so. What we want to do is we want to shape this, but we don't want to work at it, okay? So the trick is whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So if I cut a corner here, okay, I want to cut the corner about exactly the same. And same down here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut off. So I'm just using guidelines. So whatever this distance is from here to here should be from here to here. And same here, we should be able to come up with a little guideline, and now we got the same thing, okay? So we have this nice little geo, geo, geo something, geometrical. Geometric. Thank you, geometric uh, shape that I can now round off to, to the, to the bug-like size. So watch this, I just use those guidelines, and I can just softly Just roll that, roll that around. Same up here. We just round off the top a little bit. And 
now we have the abdomen pretty much uh, pretty much complete all right I'm checking on this guy because looks like I think I got a little too big so I'm gonna try again And I think it was more like an oval rather than a rather than a circle. Okay, there we go. All right. Now you're using just freehand for this. Do you ever use like French curves or yes. any kind of stencils to help you with your circles and funky shapes? Yes, you could. You could. I recommend you get comfortable drawing circles, drawing the shapes. Um, because you almost become a little too dependent on um, doing the line, you know, doing the drawing with your equipment. Um, what I've discovered is that it's you'll just get better. You'll 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 be better the more you draw yourself. Okay. So um, that being said, if I'm doing like a very intricate piece of art. And I need very straight lines, you bet. I've got the, you know, if I'm doing uh, buildings, if I'm doing pen and ink, uh, you know, um, pieces that are detailed and that I need good straight lines, heck yeah, I use rulers, I use uh, uh, French curves, I use circle templates, you know, especially when I'm inking. That's more of the time I might pull something like that out. All right. So, at this point, I think his nose is a little fat. I know. Always judging. We're insulting our bug viewers. All our long nosed beetle types. All right. So, at this point, I can go ahead. I'm going to clean this up here. All right. So now, ah, let me lightly put this center line back in because we're going to need it. All right, so taking the center line, we're going to come down, kind of create a rounded V here. And then his eyes kind of pop out. I'll be honest with you, I don't know if this is his eyes or if these are antennae. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, that wasn't, I wasn't kidding. All right, fine. Um, okay. Now we're going to come down to the bottom, so it isn't straight across the bottom. There's like a, a little bit of an oval right in the middle, and then it kind of curves around on each end. So, bingo. Was his name? All right. So I'm looking at the. The back of the abdomen now and it has like a little shield at the top and then it comes on down to um, you know break the shell in half basically a little curve obviously that's where the wings are obviously duh <laughs> all right so I think we're pretty close here with the body. Um, at this point, I would probably go ahead and start on the legs. Now, again, the legs are symmetrical. Uh, whatever you do to one side, do to the other. Now they might be in a little different position, but for the most part, um, one leg is coming out of this chunk of the body right here well when I say one I mean two a set of a set of there all right so and I look at these arms and legs if you look the 
that second attachment of leg there goes up to about his uh, his eyes or whatever them are okay so on the uh, back end I've got two on the back end so we just want to get our shapes in Like I said, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. I want to make sure, you want to make sure that your legs are about in the right spot, too. Or you'd be creating a whole new species. I know. So again, as you can see, I'm just basically getting the heavier chunks of the legs down. Okay. So, at this point, I might want to add my sharp and pointy things. What? So these guys tend to have uh, little spikes and stuff. Probably for good for sticking to stuff and fighting and carrying on. All right. Just got a little pointy thing out here. A pointy thing here. So, like I said, whatever you do to the one side, you do to the other. Okay. It's a lot of pointy stuff. Now, the last part, it's kind of funny. They're almost like teardrops. Like one, two, three four and then it's got like a little little feet at the top there all right um, same with below here you can actually draw out little lines if you're not comfortable just so you know where where you're going to so I go one two three a little longer one then a little footy thing same here one two three longer one foot and it just goes on and on forever. Six times. No, yes, six times. Two, three, longer one, and it's almost like a little heart at the very end. After what you say, I'd still step on it if I saw it in real oh, life. Oh, come on, if it was this big. <laughs> <laughs> that big I'd run yeah um, actually these these guys are fun to do I've been uh, my son asked for bugs for his uh, Christmas present this year last year rather and I went are you nuts and I have actually really gotten to liking doing these things so um, obviously you know the legs are dark But you can save that for however you're going to do it. You can color pencils, um, pen and ink. You could even just good old pencil, you know, just plain old pencil. You might want to give it a little bit of a, you know, shadowing, a little shadow. Give it a little three-dimensionality here. So you saw how I did that. Just take my pencil or... Do a little shadowing with my pencil and then I just take my finger. So the only thing with shadowing is just be consistent. Alright. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, this gets very dark under here. Legs get very dark. And these guys get very dark whatever they are. 
eyes, whatever. Anyway, close enough. I think we're about done with this guy. Um, like I said, you could ink it up. You can. I watercolored mine. Um, You're not going to do any inks on this? Uh, really? I have to work more? Um, I'll tell you what. Here's what I will do. I'm going to do a leg. I was just going to draw it, but I'll do a leg real quick with the pen. Because what what I'm doing now is putting all the little pieces together, especially for the, the little thin bottom of them. So you're not going to make individual little uh, triangles anymore or teardrops. They're actually all connected now. And then it's up to you. You can see where they segment, where the segments for each chunk of the leg. But that should get you, I think. And you go on the internet. Oops. You go on the internet, man, you can find a lot of wild stuff on there to to work on. Like I said, I never never dreamed that this would be as much fun as it was doing these uh, doing these bugs. But I think that kind of gets you get you by, okay? So look for the uh, the how to because it will help you a lot. And anything else, Mark? Uh, no, just make sure you check out the website, uh, subscribe to the channel if you like these kind of videos and want to see more. Uh, thanks for There'll watching. be more. Yeah. Uh, make sure you, uh, we forget about mentioning it, but there's links to the uh, Students of R.K. McGuire Facebook group where you can post your paintings and drawings so Keith can see what you're doing as well. Oh, that's cool. I always forget about that. Yep. Well, I forget about it. You should be checking it on almost a semi-daily basis. And actually, I do check on it. I'm just sometimes afraid to answer. <laughs> well, he doesn't know as much as he thinks he does. Anyway, I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate uh, that you're watching this. You guys have a have a good one. Take care now. Bye.